it's Adam, and we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum looking at the new color panel. And this thing is awesome. With this new color grading wheel, you actually have all these controls that you've had previously, this color matching, color curve, secondary color corrector, these kind of things. But you have them in a new panel where you can do a little bit more fine-tune adjustment all in one place. Select it to go into color grading, and you need to make sure you have your clip highlighted as well. Because when you have that clip highlighted and you either hit Alt-G, which toggles it, or you hit that button I showed you, then what you're doing is you're going into this color grading panel, you're putting an effect on it. So when this color grading effect exists on your clip, then you're actually color grading. And so color grading is misleading because there's actually a thing about it where you really correct first and then you grade. So everybody's wanting to know how to get those pretty unrealistic colors, unrealistic but real colors, you know, like movies do, like Harry Potter, it's just everything looks black and red, and in uh, you know, other movies that it all looks blue and things like that. These are really calculated decisions by professionals, and they make these calculated decisions after they've color corrected. So this is really the primary focus of this, is to get to a normal color. So you can see my camera here has done a normal color correction. It's done a normal balancing. And what you need to do and understand, I'm going to show you with Vegas Pro what's actually going on behind the scenes. So when you make these decisions with Movie Studio, you're going to know what you're doing. So this is a color card. I have a link to one in the description. This is a cheap one. Expensive ones do a better job at what I'm doing. But a cheap one is really a great place to start. It's just something that shows you the colors. White is all the colors. Black is none of the colors. Gray is a step in between all the colors. When they talk about neutral grays and stuff, what they mean is a one that has a balance of all the colors involved. So if we look at this right here, I have the same clip zoomed into and highlighted just that little gray stepping down right here. And first thing I want to show you is the white is up here and the black is down here and it's stair steps. But you can notice something, the black is brighter than true black. In the same way, the white isn't as bright as true white should be up here. You don't need these waveforms to understand that. You just This is a great way to understand what's going on. But in movie studios, you can fix this by just simply going to the levels. Now, we're going to touch these in a second. But right now, just go to levels. Drag the default, it's an effect right here in the effects tab, drag it and drop it onto your color grading. And you can even drag it first into the color chain. So go ahead and drag it first and then you can take this input start and you can make your blacks darker. Now how dark? Not very. You just need a gentle touch, just a gentle move to make sure that this black is more in line with normal blacks. And then, and then my, I don't, my face isn't always in shadow, right? So I'm not concerned about that. And then my brights, I can brighten that up with the input end slider. And so just a little bit brighter. And you can see that this image is much more pleasing. It's much more bright. My skin tones are showing up much better. And this is much more of a white, and this is much more of a black. So I've made this correction without any histograms or vector scopes or anything, but I just understood what was going on behind the scenes, that this needed some more contrast. This is a great way to increase contrast. You darkened your darks, you brightened your brights. You've got a cleaner image. When you look at it without versus with, you can really see it pops so much more and the colors are so much more true. So let's go to Pro and see what happened in the histogram when that happens. So um, you can do this in Pro with these, but we're not talking about Pro today. We're talking about Movie Studio. So we're going to do it the same way we did it in Movie Studios. We're going to go to the levels, which is which is one of my favorite effects ever. Let's do the same thing here, and we're going to darken darks and look at that. See how I talked about that being the blacks? Now these blacks match, and now it's at zero. But we don't have to do it that much to get what we want, really. We just, we just kind of did it just a little bit. And then to get the brights brighter, we just just a little bit white raised the brights. Now you can see you can really flush this out very badly. So you just want to kind of duck it up the right direction. And you can... We see we can worry about getting this white true white, but the reality is you just kind of need something brighter and truer, and you're going to have, you're already flooding off the top of your histogram, right? So 
let's let's just take it just a touch like we did it when we eyeballed it and see now we've got everything higher up prettier closer to true white brighter it's a better image and now you see what's going on behind the scenes these whites are rising and the black parts are darkening and so we successfully color corrected a movie studio without any vector scopes or anything because you just knew what was going on behind the scenes so now the next step is in pro i'm going to show you something see all these wheels that you have in both movie studios and pro these wheels are important because this is your low colors what's down here this is this is ground your darks your midtones and your brights see we stretched them out we brightened up the image when we push these crush these lower you darken the image you increase the contrast with this effect let me make sure they're in the correct order in the effects chain in pro 2 so we're doing the same thing so with this effect you can really see that the reds are a little higher. These are your red, green, and blue. These are your primary colors in the additive color scheme. That's what video uses, is red, green, and blue. And you want these to all be the same because white's supposed to be all the colors. So if you have less green and a little bit less blue, then you have a not perfect white. You actually have this right is actually a little bit red, and it might not look that way on your monitor. However, if you've got a pretty reliable monitor, you can probably tell. So this is just ever so slightly red. Now, with this RGB parade here in the histogram, you can see that little difference. All you have to do is increase the color you want and decrease the color you don't want and you do that at the same time that's why these are a color wheel when you move towards blue you move away from yellow and red and you move towards green you know you're moving away from magenta and when you move towards you know purple you're moving away from green you're not just adding more color you're taking away from colors and so what we can do here is we can, you can see what is happening behind the scenes you can actually just very so slightly move towards the blue and the green just so slightly and you've corrected the image now these bumps almost near all lined up there's a little bit more correcting that we can do you know uh, but this is super fine tuned. This is professional, you know, professional fine tuning here, where you can get your midtones and make sure everything lines up just about perfectly. And then you got a true white here. But one thing I want you to see, I want you to notice that I fix this by holding control, so I don't move it very much. See, if you hold control, it doesn't move as much. When you don't hold control, it goes everywhere. This is the exact same thing in in Movie Studio when you but I need you to see what's happening behind the scenes. So it just took a barely little pull in the direction I wanted to go away from the direction I wanted to leave. So don't think about it as I need more blue. Think about it as I need less red or I need less green. And you just need to move very slowly. If, the, it's, if it's bright colors that are having that issue, you want to use the gain. If it's kind of all colors it feels like, you want to use gamma. And if it's the shadows that are having that issue, you want to use lift. So shadows, skin tones, bright colors. And offset is everything. So if everything's having that issue, you want to use offset. That's why you'd want to use these. And again, we're going to hold control, just slightly move away from the red. And this one we slightly moved. See how quickly you can mess this up? Slightly move away from the red. And look at that. Just barely, just barely. You can barely even see the movement. Now we've got like a perfect white here. And we didn't need the scopes to get that. We just had to, A, understand what was happening behind the scenes. B, you need to realize that these color wheels don't just add colors. They also remove colors. And C, you need to know that these color wheels are very sensitive. And you don't need to move them very much. D, having a color card helps you find these colors in your edit. And you can, you can uh, copy and paste this effect. You can save it as a preset. And, or, and add it to all your things. You can copy and paste this effect. You can do whatever you need to do. But with a little bit of levels correction, 
and just a touch of color correction, we now have a true white and more close to a true black on our color card, and so it makes our skin tones look much more natural. Now, for me, I'm going to do a little bit more finagling with this image to get it how I want, but this is a color corrected image, and you can do this in Movie Studio. So it's just important. You don't need these tools. They help professionals get super fine-tuned ability. They help, they help them see what's going on. But as long as you know the science behind it, as long as you understand what's actually happening when you move these tools, you can eyeball it pretty well. You're going for your pure white, barely touch these things, get the color card out first. And if you follow these instructions, you're going to have some good looking footage. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Like that helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.